All right, so here is the car CW9, and there's no problem with the trigger right now. So I'm gonna rack it. Stick it in the freezer. <laughs> there's a freaking elf in there. So, uh, gotta keep it in there for a couple minutes. So, hold on. All right, it's been a couple minutes, so let's check it out. It's not all that cold, I don't think it. What a f Yep, there's the delay. It's a little better. Let's stick it in there for a little longer. Let's see what happens. All right, it's been even longer, so let's check on it again. There we go, it's squeezed all the way back, and there it breaks. All the way back. That's a pretty long delay. <laughs> That's crazy. So just imagine if you pulled his gun out of your glove box in the in the cold winter time and try to use it to defend yourself, or a woman pulls it out of her purse or something like that, and the gun just won't it won't go off, and it may uh, go off when you don't want it to, and it in uh, injury to other people or yourself. So that's pretty crazy. I mean, I read a lot, a little bit about this. But uh, everybody on the forums that had some common sense seemed to came to the same conclusion that I did, that the uh, Striker channel is a little gunked up from the factory and from the uh, break-in period, getting some debris from the plastic and uh, some of the factory grease in there mixed with some carbon, turn it into sludge, slowing that firing pin down. So... Uh, what I'm going to attempt to do now is, instead of sending it off the car, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, I'm going to take the try to take the slide apart and clean out the firing pin and the firing pin channel and all the springs and stuff like that, and see if we can solve this problem. Well, looks like I don't have the necessary tools to take this down right now. Have to be able to stick something small enough to fit into a hole that's even smaller inside this hole. So uh, I don't have anything like that. My wife already called car and uh, had a shipping label sent to her email yesterday. So I guess we'll just be sending it back to car and they'll be cleaning out the channel. So if you have one of these, or uh, any of the car CW, CM series, uh, give it a shot. Throw it in the freezer. Unload it, safety check it. Don't leave a mag in there, just throw it in the freezer, see what happens. I'm going to check out my PM9, and we'll see the results from that. Alright, so here's my PM9. I'm going to toss that in the freezer. See how that works out. All right, so let's check out the PM nine. All right. Nope, nope, no troubles. It was in there for a good five minutes. It's pretty cold. Anyway. This gun always had a better trigger anyway. So, uh, looks like we'll be sending this one back to car for their, uh, service, servicing. And like I said, check out your cars. I know it's not a uh, problem with every car, 
It might just be a quality control overlook while people on the assembly line, I guess, or some guy at car. I know it's not a big company. Forgetting to clean out that chamber or uh, putting a little too much factory grease in. So I think it's a pretty detrimental flaw if left unchecked and if it continues even after the repairs I may just have to get rid of these or this gun keeping this one so uh anyway guys thanks for watching and uh that's it